Okay guys, so I've been wanting to do this video for a few of you guys who have directly asked me to create this video. So this is who I'm creating this video for. So as you guys can see, I'm here on my Shopify homepage. We are going to go down to where it says settings, which is all the way at the bottom of the screen. I don't think my screen recording is um, capturing it but it's the settings button and it has like the typical settings icon so we are going to press settings and we are going to head over to shipping and delivery as you guys can see here it has a little truck box we're going to click shipping and delivery and i'm just going to quickly show you guys how to set up your um shipping okay so I have a P.O. box, which is I really, really recommend you guys to get a P.O. box for your company so it's not connected to your home address. Or you can also look into getting a virtual address. Those are amazing things to have. So as you can see, the first option here is choose where you ship and how much you charge for shipping at checkout. Learn more about shipping rates. If you want to learn more about shipping rates, you can click there and basically read and educate yourself on shipping and the different rates that there are. So this is the general shipping profile. When you add new products, sometimes you have to add the selected shipping, but for me, mine's always go on automatically. So I have shipping from my PO box and then we have a first class mail. This is the first one I went with. You can put, you can go to create shipping and type in um, like uh, United States or you can do Eastern and it will come up as like for you to create a new shipping. I cannot do it right now because I already have one created, but it will be for... United States, you see, you would select this. I can't select it because it's in another zone. So you would select it. Okay, so let's say I can do Mexico. So I'm gonna select Mexico. This is just for the purpose of this video. And as you guys can see, when I select the Mexico, it says no rates. Customers in the zone won't be able to check out, which is not true because I have like a the rest of the world. That's what I put for like every other country that's not the United States but you click add rate and you can choose to set up your own rate where you have a flat rate where it's like $16 or $10 or $12 whatever you put it's a flat rate just keep in mind when you're shipping international it's very expensive it can be $25 or more so that's why I like to use the carrier app to calculate the rates so I just press Use the carrier app. And as you guys can see, you can select from DHL, USPS, and UPS. I normally go with USPS, so I'm going to select USPS. Um, here you would select whether you want it to be first class, international, priority mail, express international, or priority mail international. So because my packages are small, I always go with the first class package international or priority mail international express mail is always going to be more money so you want to go with whatever is cheaper to help both of you guys save money and then it says automatically show new shipping service to customers when they become available so that's if you want to change it and there are cheaper options this will automatically show your customer that you put a um cheaper rate and here you have on the bottom, you can adjust cost and you can add things to it. Like you can add a percentage or you can add a fixed amount if you want it to. But I normally don't do that. I just ship for what it is. So this rate that they're going to get is based calculated off of USPS. So it has nothing to do with you because you're using the calculated shipping instead of using your own flat rate. So now that's done. You're just going to click save. And we're going to wait for that to save. And that's pretty much how you add your shipping for Shopify. 
And that's shipping. If you're doing local delivery, then you can add um, local delivery if you want. You can add pickup. And here I just have, um, these are all the size packages that I have. I have them preloaded. So if you want to add your dimensions for your package, this makes checkout so much easier. You just click add a package. Yes, Leo. Shh, be quiet. Sorry guys, you just click add package and then you put in the length of your boxes and your mailers and then you'll be all good. I have mine as a thermal printer because that's what I use a thermal printer. If you don't, then you would put something else. So that's pretty much it um, for shipping. It's super easy and I definitely recommend that in your products, you go to all of your products and you weigh all of your products before you ship them off so that all of your products have different weights it makes things so much easier and it helps for calculating the prices this way you won't get ripped off because if you don't put the right weight then usps is going to calculate your item as cheaper and then you're going to end up paying for shipping out of the customer's um like out of your pocket, not out of the customer's pocket. So make sure you put in the weight of all your products, whether it's pounds, ounces, kilograms, or grams. Just make sure you fill that in. It makes things much easier and you will not lose out on money. So for all of your products, just make sure you fill in the weight of your products. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. This video is super quick, super easy. I just wanted to do this video because so many people requested me to do this video so I just want to quickly do it and now you guys have this video for reference when you're um creating shipping for your Shopify this makes things so much easier you as you guys can see the customer pay eight dollars and fifty five cents for USPS priority mail and the total is eight fifty five like this shipping one right here and it comes with tracking it's eight fifty five so as you guys can see it was like straight on point so yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video super simple super easy like i said this was a requested video if you guys have any other requested videos feel free to let me know i'm super happy to help you guys and yeah i hope this video is helpful so till next time guys bye